Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The internet is probably the most incredibly huge photo album ever known to man. Almost every site contains a logo, a supporting image or graphic of some sort, or another image collection, and when you add graphics to a website, you can greatly enhance the impact your pages will have. However, if the graphics you add are too large, or there are too many that need to download all at once, the download times can increase to the point where visitors become annoyed and leave your site. Now imagine how that could affect sales if your site was for a business. A few tips that can help you minimize download times when using images are to keep images as small as possible, use as few colors as possible while still preserving image quality, and repeat images wherever possible. In addition, if an image is not necessary or if you cannot seem to figure out where to place it, simply remove it from the page plan. There are a few programs you can use to modify images to either reduce their size or optimize them. Optimizing graphics is the process of reducing file size while preserving the dimensions and visual quality. A few programs you can use to optimize your graphics are Macromedia Fireworks, Adobe Photoshop, and Jask Paint Shop Pro. When you're choosing images and other graphics for your website, you should use GIFs, JPEGs, or PNG files. These are the pictures that end in the .gif, .jpg, .jpeg, or .png extensions. These are the fastest and most versatile graphic formats that you can use. They are also the ones that tend to show up in web browsers with the fewest problems. The format you choose for each instance can depend on what you plan to accomplish. GIF files are often best used for cartoons and logos because they only display 256 colors. Much larger than GIF files, JPEG files are more versatile, although they display 16.7 million colors. These are often used for high quality photographs where detail is important. Ping files have advantages over the other two in size and color, but they're so new that they're not yet supported by all browsers. You must have Netscape Navigator or Microsoft Internet Explorer 4.0 or later to view the ping file type. While you build pages, you should periodically take a look at the estimated download time for your page in the lower right corner of the work area in page view. Front page calculates the estimated download time based on the size of the file and the expected connection speed. You can change the expected connection speed by simply clicking the box with the estimated time and then selecting a new speed. Generally, designing a page with the expected connection speed of 28.8 .8 is a good idea. This will encompass all of the possible visitors to your site. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.